I'm doing a video interview, Petro. Yeah, no, so, so no mistakes this time. Uh, no. <laughs> where, where am I? Uh, am I looking at you? It doesn't matter. You it doesn't matter. You look who? Possible. Look where? Look at John Kerr. Okay. Do you feel like a rock star? It seems like I see so many people stopping you. Uh, your last match here at Wake Forest. Just kind of what's going through your mind right now, Petros? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a it's been a wild ride. You know, four years uh, playing at home came to an end. Uh, hopefully, we. Uh, you know, we'll go all the way, but uh, what's important that we got the win today. We uh, finished the home season with a bang, and I was talking to Bresky, uh, Coach Bresky, right now, and uh, we just realized in four years we lost three matches at home, um, which is a which is a huge accomplishment, accomplishment at least for me. Uh, uh, it's been it's been a wild ride. I'll never play again in these courts, unfortunately, as a player. Maybe I come back as a coach one day. I don't know, um, but. Um, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's been amazing for years, and I would give the world to uh, have even one more. I would give the world for that one. But when you came here four years ago, could you ever imagine all the success you guys would have had? No, no, really. I mean, when I came four years ago, three and a half actually, I, um, you know, I, there, there there were a lot of things that I needed to change in terms of culture in the team. Um, we, uh, I mean, I don't want to put some blame, but I, I think the whole culture should have changed when I came in. You know, we had uh, we didn't have the winning culture and the healthy relationships we have right now back then. So I think that was that was fixed, and that was at least one of my biggest accomplishments, not winning too much, but doing that first and then get to the wins, I think was very important. Uh, but no, in, in, in no universe I would have thought this is, this is going to be happening. You know, getting out of the court, knowing the fans personally, and... Uh, you know, just having, you know, the Winston Sound community is so small, so uh, it's amazing how we we bonded with so many fans and we know them personally and we see their faces, familiar faces, not just our friends and family. And just seeing all these faces come together for one last time, it's, it's amazing. How happy were you to see the weather kind of break and mm -hmm. such a big crowd mm -hmm. to see you guys come out and play outside this one final time? Yeah, I mean, yeah, playing outdoors, indoors is, you know, it, it, we never know. We, we can't control the weather. Uh, we talked with Coach Bresky so many times. We got to be ready for everything. I remember last year and this year, our uh, regular season schedule was so tough. We play away at home. We play indoors, outdoors. It's raining. It's windy. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm glad we uh, we got through uh, last year's and this year's uh, tough schedule. And now we're in the final eight. And you know, again, we go to Florida. We never know what's gonna happen there. So. Uh, yeah, we were you, glad we play outdoors for this one. You got a late first set break, and you showed a lot of emotion during that break point, mm -hmm. and then you kind of seemed to turn it on. After, did you think that was kind of a turning point in your match today, Petros? Yeah, I mean, I think it was like three all or four three down or something like that, and uh, you know, I wasn't feeling a hundred percent. But you know, the, the the trick there is not to win when you're playing a hundred percent. The trick is to win when you're playing. 50%, 75%, and uh, I think I needed a little push for, for myself and for the crowd, and I got pumped up, I started shouting, and the crowd, you know, stood up, and that just got me going, and as soon as, the, as, soon as I get the crowd involved, it's over, I think, uh, I'm very, uh, I'm an emotional guy, and as soon as I so, show my emotions, I think it's over, and that helped me a lot of 4-3 down, I think. Once again, you guys got down on the levels, um, it's right. been a point of contention, I guess, all year for you guys. Just, That's right. What, what, even with the lineup change there, you get, get down to level one, but the singles as usual to kind of pulls you through. Yeah, I think I think just losing doubles point more than last year, I think it, it, it takes a lot of pressure off us. Cause, does it really? Know, oh, yeah, it does, because, oh. you know, we, we've lost the doubles point against, I think, UVA uh, in, in the uh, ACC finals, and, you know, we, we came back and we won four singles. It's very, it's very tough for other teams to get at least 50% of the singles matches on the board. I mean, um, and I think that takes the pressure off us because we know even if we lose a doubles point, we're ready to go in singles. But um, just based on statistics, I think hopefully out of the last three matches we, we're going to play, hopefully we'll play three quarters, semis, and finals. I hope we win at least one or two of them um, so we can start with a 1-0 up because I think that changes the momentum oh, a lot. Um, I know teams are, you know, they don't feel as confident knowing that they have to win four singles on the board. Um, but yeah, winning doubles, you know, we've changed a couple of teams here and there. We changed their lineups. Uh, we move people up and down. But, you know, I think the right doubles teams are going to come. And we're saving the best for last. And hopefully it's going to turn out well. You guys are up in five of the first singles matches, of the singles match. And then in the second set, it just seemed like it was a runaway freight train. Could you could you sense that? Because you, obviously you were part of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we always tell the guys not to look on the board and not to look around. We always tell them, listen, just focus on your match and, you know, take care of business and then your teammates are going to take care of their business too. So can't, can't want to win too much. Uh, sometimes I get a little bit too involved because I want to pump up the guys, you know. Um, 
as a captain, I feel like sometimes they need a little push from me. Um, so sometimes I just try to finish my match quicker than everyone else, just so I can focus on their match. Uh, and, I, and I think that that works a lot. Uh, it definitely worked last year at home when we played NCAs, but um, yeah, the, the, today was was just winning, winning first, and just you know going to support Rezi and Sid, and and on the other on the other side, Melius. I think. Uh, it was it was a huge push for me. I think. Resi put you up three one, and you were up on one end five, and it just mm -hmm. came down to like one point. Between, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I saw I saw Borna wanted to finish his match yeah, so much, did. but uh, I don't know what the rule is there. I mean, I know they clinched, and he was in between the first and second serve. I think it was I, actually in the point you you could keep it going, but they hadn't actually started. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think you can keep. I think if you're in the second serve, you can keep playing. Okay. But who who, who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it went pretty quick actually. It was our first. Uh, Match that kind of everybody finished quite mm -hmm. quickly and at mm -hmm. the same time. So we'll take it. We'll take that, and uh, you know, I hope the guys are feeling well. Um, everyone's uh, everyone's healthy and ready to go for Florida and uh, to Florida, and then we'll see what happens. I, we gotta wait from UBX and the play tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. You still got a long way before you know who even tomorrow. Would, would you yeah, like, would we, you like to play Virginia for a fourth time? We don't mind. We don't mind. I think. Uh, I think it's better for both teams that, um, you know, if, if they win, of course, they have a tough one tomorrow yeah, against Stanford, yeah. but if they win, I think it's, it's good for uh, both teams that, you know, they, we know each other and we bring the best out of each other. Um, great, historically great program. And, you know, if we, if we see them again, we'll do it again and, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, taking step by step, now we got like a few, four or five days to prepare. Uh, Florida is going to be hot. Uh, we need to hydrate, so uh, take care of our bodies and, you um, you know, next match Thursday. Um, can't wait you guys play there earlier this year. Does that help? Oh, they, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, there, there's a reason we played UCF yeah, sure. uh, away, okay. right? So, um, you know, Tony knows what he's doing, and uh, he's not a rookie. And uh, there's a reason we we actually went there and played, and you know, we saw the courts, we felt the courts. It's very hot there, and the bounce of the ball is different. The balls are different, and um, you know, I'm sure it's gonna turn out well at the end.